What's up everybody, FHRC Brownie, and today I'm going to give you guys another driving video. Uh, this one's going to be a nighttime drive, um, and today I just got out of work, and I'm going to be heading home. But I will not be giving you guys my exact location because that is private, private information. So, along probably three quarters of the way, I'll be ending the video. But, aside from that, I hope you enjoyed this drive. And right now, I'm just going to give you like 10 seconds and then I'll start rolling because I need to warm up the car. Alright, let's go for a ride. You guys probably seen my previous videos, uh, my updates. Uh, I actually work at McDonald's right now, and then Tuesdays is the only days I work, so that's why I kind of lied in that update video because I, I did say that I was going to slow down the FHRC Brony and my rest of my YouTube channels for a little bit. I kind of lied, but I also kind of told the truth. The reason why I, I, I told the truth um, is because I, like I said, I have a job. And the reason, the part that I lied is I was, I was supposed to have, uh, not make a lot of videos since I have a job, but I figured since they only give me Tuesdays and they are, they're going to call me for more hours if they do need me on, on other days, I figured myself, why not just make more videos since I got rest, the rest of the week off from work. And so... I did, but I'm still keeping my truth on my honest truth that I'm st I still have a job and I'm earning money for this. So yeah. Highway foreclosure, huh? That's the freeway that I usually take to go to school and go to work. Uh, looks like the freeway is still open. Or for those of you guys who live in Britain or other foreign countries, this is called the motorway. For those of you who are who live in foreign countries, see if you're wondering what that diamond is on the road, that is the HOV lane. That is for it's a designated lane for uh, for uh, automobile that has two or more people inside the vehicle. Actually, I'm not going to turn in. Uh, Merch to the left here. Sorry for the shaky camera guys, uh, this is not the best quality, um, but I mean, at least you can still see me where I'm going. Got some cars merging in and stuff. It's a hard day's uh, work for me actually. If you guys are wondering what I do at McDonald's, um, some of you guys may think I work for cashier you wish I did uh, I'm actually doing all the kitchen work so yeah I'm doing all the hard labor <laughs> and it's actually easy than I thought it would be it's just a uh, time-consuming and you gotta stand up for hours there's a guy with his trunk open I'm gonna pass him up yeah, he got a lot of stuff in the Civic Um, if, 
you guys seen my videos, not my video, my video on this car that I'm driving, the Toyota Camry Solara. Uh, I made a review on that, and I did mention that the suspension is really bad on this car. And that is not the fault of, from the manufacturer, that is actually a fault from the previous owner that did not take care of this car. Um, the suspension is bad, the shock is actually not uh, absorbing any shock, hence the name shock absorber. Um, there is no air, there's absolutely no air inside those shocks and basically I'm riding on springs and this car, and as a result, this car, every time I hit a bump, I can actually feel it. Normally that would not be the case. California where I live it has all these lane markers, uh, pumps, uh, because California pays a lot of crap load of money for everything. They do, uh, I can actually feel these bumps. And normally I would not feel that a lot on a car with better suspension or at least fixed, repaired, um, or replaced shocks. It will not have that kind of problem. So we'll get that thing fixed very soon. I mean, the car is still drivable, so it's no big deal, but I am not going to be putting the time yet on fixing this car suspension because I got a Toyota 4Runner that's still stuck on that curb. I need to get that thing out of there so I can drive it soon. And I know you guys are saying, why did you just start the car and just drive off? Well, that's not easy enough. Um, I have to go through legal actions for that. And what I mean by that, I have to register. The car is already technically registered. Still waiting for the pink slip. Uh, we need to smog the car and we can't legally move that car out of there uh, until we get a permit saying that, hey, we can drive this car out of there. Because currently I have that car in non-operational. So that means the car is not allowed to move yet until I get that, that approval that I can drive, legally drive it. So until then, this car, the car that I'm driving will be We'll be driving with springs, riding on springs. Alright guys, I'm going to be ending the video here. Hope you enjoyed the ride. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.